This week on Full Auto Friday, we travel to Texas to visit True Velocity and shoot their newest composite K68 cartridge. If you thought a polymer K68 sounds like it might be a refugee from the Army's next generation weapon system, you'd be entirely correct. True Velocity is releasing this groundbreaking design to the civilian market this year, so we were keen to try it out in a night armament machine gun adapted for just this purpose. This combination of steel case head and polymer body is supposed to bring the shooter the benefits of lower weapon temperatures and a more efficient powder burn. But enough talk, let's get hands on. A couple of years ago on Full Auto Friday, we went to Florida to go and shoot the Knight's Armament LMG, along with Reed Knight himself. This time, however, we've got the latest iteration of the LMG. It's now called the... Well, this is the AMG. So this is the assault machine gun. It's the, uh, the big size, kind of general purpose -y machine gun based around 7.62, but then got some other things we can do with it. Yeah, so this is the large frame gun based around 7.62, but it's not in 7.62, is it? Well, this one uh, happens to be in uh, some pretty cool, special new uh, lighty, fasty, zippy. Check that out. It's the new True Velocity 6.8 cartridge built around the Army solicitation. This is going to be released for civilian use in 2021. And you guys are going to be the first ones to see it shot full auto. Are we ready? Ready. I don't think it's Friday, but it's OK. It is. <laughs> right. It is. It's full auto Friday. Heat her up. Still not very well. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to put my hand on the fore end of pretty much any other LMG after firing oh, yeah. almost 200 rounds through it. And if you look at the cases as well, how many times have you been shooting an MG been burned by cases? These are perfectly cold. It's crazy. The composite case is made in three parts, a stainless steel case head, a polymer body and a shoulder and neck area made from the same plastic, which is then fused together. Although TV is a comparative newcomer in the ammo world, their loading facility looks and feels like a world-class operation, with case making, loading and testing all in one place. Well, Jack, it's great to see Knights partnering with True Velocity to be at the forefront of small arms development, especially with this gun, which I've, I've come to love so much. <laughs> so what plans do you guys have for this gun? Uh, I mean, the, the big thing is like there's there's activity, or there's uh, options out there for people to pick up guns like this. Um, you know, so we're kind of seeing where it'll go. Um, you know, one of the hard things about this gun is for people to understand what it is. Um, you know, is it a general purpose gun? assault or gun is it a support gun. Um, so getting needs matched to equipment is one of the big things. So, there, there's, there's evolution this gun still to be done. There's still places to go with it to make it better, um, to make it more specific to user groups. So that's, that's what we're looking at is um, what, what do they want it to do because that's really to where it goes but uh, be able to match it with this cartridge is in a, a really a different space than it would be if it was just a 762 gun. Yeah for sure I mean it's a 6.8 it hits like the hammer of Thor it recalls virtually like like a 556 gun almost and it weighs about 14 pounds I mean what's not to like? Oh yeah it's great uh, lightweight ammunition and the gun doesn't get as hot uh, you know in, in, in and it's uh, it's fun to shoot I hear. Yeah it's real fun to shoot thanks for showing me. Yeah, Cheers man.